Welcome to Trade with Rob, brought to you by WealthBuildersHQ.com. This update is for Tuesday, the 15th of October, 2024. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Hope it's been a good trading day for you. As we do get started, keep in mind, everything we look at is for education. Nothing's meant to be advice or recommendations. If you find something you like anything, make sure it fits your own personal risk profile and risk tolerance. All right. So with that, uh, well, you know what? Actually, before we start into the S&P 500, let's go ahead and look at last week's trades that were for the 11th, which was for Friday. So the very first one was BLK. You got to remember that we're looking at Friday's uh, trade, which will be this day, not the most recent day, but uh, the previous one to that. So we gapped up, never came back and retested, no trade on BLK, just got away from us right out of the get-go. Right next was DKS. Also on DKS, let's see, we're looking at Friday. Excuse me there, I'm tickling my throat. Also on DKS on Friday, no trade. Now we gapped up slightly, but never had a pullback at all. I mean, if we go back and look at the one minute candle, I will show you. See this little dash right there? It's like one share traded or something at that price. It gapped up, never pulled back. So no opportunity to take DKS on Friday either. Uh, and then the last one was SPGI. Let's bring that one in a little bit. Also gapped up on the open, nothing we can do. So no trade taken on any of the ones from Friday. Numbers still look good. We've got 37 winning trades, nine that have gone against us, three that have broken even. 10,244.04 is the total PL uh, with an average of 209.06 per trade of the 49 trades that we have actually taken. Again, keep in mind that these are all for education, nothing's meant to be advice. All right, so let's go look at today's. Mamma Jammas, right? So first we're gonna look at the S&P 500. Woo! All time highs again, baby. Yes, we are rocking to that level that I believe we're gonna reach up here, this green line of that 59.35 level. 59.17, 18, 35, somewhere in that range, I think we'll see some resistance in there. Uh, I don't know if we'll get there today, tomorrow, next week, next month, but I do believe we get to that, uh, to that point. All right, so overall, like what we're seeing, we're definitely on a bullish bias. Now let's go ahead and look at AMAT, Applied Material. Right, I like it, man, I like it a lot. By the way, we've got about five minutes left till the market closes. So you know the deal, if you've seen this before, if not, we always go with the trade I would prefer to take, which will be the bullish one. We're gonna use a blue pen for the upside. Right, so let's grab that. What are we looking to see? Ideally, I'd like to see a small move up, a pullback and a bounce, right? If we can get that pattern to take place, to uh, set up there, We'll take the trade on the bounce. I'm not giving you a dollar amount there. I'm just showing you as it bounces. Stop will be somewhere down below that 213.59 um, support. We've got resistance at 223.5. I've got a target in here right about 222. 221.5, 221, somewhere in there between 221 and 222. Now I still have an opportunity to the downside as well. I need to move down, a retest and a fail. If it does, my support is not this 203.68, no, 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 no. It's this 205.12, it's the eight moving average. So 205 is support. We're probably looking at about 207 to be the target. And again, the stop will be just on the other side. So nice little setup on uh, AMAT. Next is Spotify, SPOT. Uh, also can take it in both directions. Let me see here, 72, 82, 92, uh, 89. Yep, we're good. We don't need to split that level in half. Uh, hold on a second. Let me just see one more time. 72, 82, 92, be 20, 3, 17. All right, we don't need to split that level in half. So here's what we're looking. I definitely like the upside better. There is not a question I like the upside better. There's more room. And uh, we're in a bullish bias right now, sitting at a rank of one uh, on this position. So I need a small move up. Then it's got to retest, and then it's got to bounce. And if it does... We've got 389.23 as our resistance. Our target's gonna be somewhere around 385, 386, somewhere in that area. We'll call it 386. Stop will be just down below support. If we look to the downside, fail, retest, and drop, once again, 366 is gonna be my support, which means right about 368, maybe, 
is the target. I'm not that excited about the downside. I've got a lot of room on the upside, very little on the downside. And then last, but certainly not least, is Elon Musk, Tesla, right? Two days now we're sitting in this area. I prefer the downside move because we are on a very bearish bias at this point. Give me a move down, retest and fail. 207 is support, 209. It's going to be my target. My stop will be just on the other side. And for the upside, give me a move up, retest, bounce. Look, same pattern to me, right? Oh, right. I want to take the trade there. Let me just go back to the red for a second. I want to take the trade there when it fails, right? Uh, on the bounce, we're going to have our stop set just below that 219.21. Uh, we're looking at 231.5 is resistance. So we're looking at a target of about 230. 229, 230, 229 half. Somewhere in that area is what we're looking at for our target. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great rest of your day. Oh, keep in mind, we've got a brand new training on this exact strategy that is going to be included in the free members area along with uh, the Trade with Rob subscription. What does that mean? Go over to tradewithrob.com. You'll find a link down below. Register. What we do is we send an email out to you that says, hey, the video is done. Go check it out. And along with that email says, oh, by the way, here's the three candidates that Rob just did today, but there's also today there happened to be 11 in total. So there are eight more candidates that you're not seeing. I just showed you the, the, the three that I like. You may find others that you like a lot more. So we include those candidates in your email. And again, we just shot a video last week with all of our mastermind groups. We put all three of them together in a room and we went through, we spent 90 minutes on this strategy. How do we trade it aggressively, non-aggressively, stops, entries, targets, all of it. We talked about everything that's included in that members area. So go ahead and register for that. The members area will be about a week before we get it up and running, but you will start getting all the candidates immediately. With that, have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.